Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today, I don't think this is going to be as much of a declutter, maybe more of a collection video, since I've gotten my lipstick collection to a point where I think it's really good. But we're going through my lipstick collection today. So it took me forever, and I really mean forever, to find an organization system that I liked. This isn't like 100% exactly the way that I would picture it in my mind that I want it, but this is really functional, it's organized, and it works, and I like it for right now. <laughs> so the way I currently have it set up, I have, let's scooch this back, I have nude lipsticks or nude-ish lipstick lipsticks from here to here. I have green lipsticks and some lip liners from here to here. These are all of my black lipsticks. These are all of my red lipsticks. These are all of my glosses. And then anything that does not fit into one of these categories is in here. And I love this container because it just sits like perfectly on top of the drawer and I can push it all the way back and I still have room down here for stuff. So I'm actually thinking I need to get a little container like this for lip liners. Actually, I think I might have one. Okay, so I don't have it with me right now, but I think I'll have a little container that I'll add later for all the lip liners. So I think I'll just put all the lip liners kind of over there for now because I really, I only have like a few lip liners. Like, like these are all my lip liners. <laughs> so I don't think I'm going to declutter any of them. I've got like two nude adjacent ones from Urban Decay. I've got two from Marabella. I believe these came in a Tri Beauty box. I have two nudes, mini nudes, one from Marc Jacobs and one from Charlotte Tilbury. I have one red liner, lip liner from Catrice, and then one green lip liner from Kylie. <laughs> so those, I'm just going to watch me break this. I'm going to just put those right there for now. Okay, so, <laughs> honestly, let me just scooch, like, the red, and this tool, this is one of those, it was, like, how to make the perfect cut crease tool, which it actually kind of works, so I don't want to, like, trash it or anything, but I want to put it down there, because I want to keep this, like, just lipsticks, right? So let me scooch the green ones up. I think I've gone through all these green ones previously, and I only have eight. Um, so I've got these two from the Tories Lee Morbid. It's a matte green and then a shimmer green. I have this gloss. This is technically, it should be in the glosses, but it's a really green gloss, so. And this is from uh, Lime Crime, and it's really, really pretty. I have this lipstick from Menagerie Cosmetics, and it's a really pretty shade, and it is fairly comfortable. Yeah, I'm gonna keep that. I have these two bullets. I have one from Kindness Vegan Beauty with Beautiful Vegan Kindness. It's a pretty shimmery green shade. And then I have this uh, Cash Money, I believe is the name of the shade, <laughs> from the Sephora Lip Stories collection. And this is a beautiful, just creamy, pigmented green lipstick. I love this, surprisingly. So those two. And then I have the Fenty, uh, I think this is the shade Wasabi. It's also really pretty. It's just a little really, it's, it's a little matte. Uh, but it, it works really well, and it looks really nice. All right, so we're going to keep all those. Moving into nudes. I might be able to do some nudes. I have these from Wet n Wild. This is a, is this a gloss? No, this is Caught You Bare Naked, and this is like a latex lip. It's not really a liquid lipstick or a gloss, and I'm not a huge fan, so I'm going to declutter this one. And I'm going to keep these two. These are like my favorite shades from Wet n Wild. This is the Rebel Rose, one of my favorites of all time. And this is Nudie Patootie. So we'll keep those two. This is the Fenty Lip Stunna in the shade Unbutton. And it's a really pretty nude as well. I just, I love the packaging like on its own, but like trying to store these is such a pain in the butt. Like, unless you have them on display. So I just kind of leave it like that. Anyway, uh, I got... A mini MAC in Velvet Teddy, which, am I really going to use this? Let me swatch Nudie Patootie next to it. Not Nudie Patootie, Rebel Rose. You know what? I don't need the mini MAC because it's close enough to Rebel Rose, and I like Rebel Rose infinitely better. So we're going to get rid of the MAC. The full size MAC, I got this in a back to MAC. I brought six, is it six empty containers of MAC products back to them? And this is in Flesh Pot. This is a really, really nude, like almost like a corpse nude, and I kind of like it. So we're going to keep that one. 
These two are from the Sophia Nygaard and ColourPop collection, which I just adored. This was such a perfect collab. Um, and I'm going to keep both of those. This is from Sugar Pill. And let's see the shade. Oh, that's really close to Nudie Patootie too. Not Nudie Patootie. I keep saying Nudie Patootie. It's really close to Rebel Rose. And I like Rebel Rose better. I know that. Okay, we're gonna get rid of the sugar pill. I'm doing so good. Okay, so this is the Dose of Colors. That's a really, really pretty shade. So we're gonna keep that one. These two. This is the mini Charlotte Tilbury, which I'm gonna keep by virtue of it being a Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. And it's pretty, but it's not that much money pretty. You feel me? Like, no. Let me see. Oh, it won't fit in there. Okay. And then this is from Stila. This is a really pretty nude shade. This is Carmelo. And that's just a really pretty, like, cool toned nude. I love that. So, keeping you. Let's flip it so we can see the shade. All right. We've got some AOA Studio and some Pixie. Oh, and these are YSL. I'm going to keep these YSL ones because they're really, really pretty. And I love those. So, these three are the YSL. Let's see this Pixie. That is really pretty. And it does have a slightly warmer undertone, so we'll keep that one. These Paw Paw Velvet Lips from Shop Miss A are so comfortable. I love them. So let's see. Ooh, those shades. It's a little lighter than that shade. Okay, looking at other shades that I have, I don't need this one. That looks too close to some other shades, so we'll get rid of that one. That's more of like a hot pink. I think that could actually go in like the pink section up here. So yeah, I think we're good there. So I'm gonna scoot this one back there. Scoot that there. Actually, let's do you here, you there, me there. Let's do that, boom, boom, there we go. So we got our greens, we got our nudes, and nude close adjacent. The blacks, I don't think there's anything in here I want to get rid of. Because anything in here I think I would need to include in my next video. And I don't want to like go messing around until I've taken the time to do my next video. So I'm going to leave the black lipsticks alone. The red lipsticks... Hmm. I should do an updated red lipstick video, huh? I should. Should I? Should. Okay. I think I'm also going to leave the red lipsticks alone. So just like as a quick look, I've got quite a few different ones. I have the original Fenty down here, of course. I've got the full size of the Stila uh, Beso. I believe this is the one that AOC wears. I saw AOC wear this lipstick, so then I bought this lipstick. <laughs> I've got the red lipstick from the Sophia Nygaard collection. I've got one Besame lipstick, and this is supposed to be in the shade or the recreation of Marilyn Monroe's lipstick shade. So I got that. I got some minis here. I got a Wet n Wild shade down there. I got a Pixie. Which let me see this Pixie one. How was this one? Because I think their lipsticks were. Oh, that's really pretty. I think the Pixie lipsticks were like one of the only Pixie products I really liked. I got the Healthy Lip from Positions Formula. And yeah, so it's kind of a rundown of the red lipsticks I have. I did do a best and worst of red lipsticks video and I'm, I want to plan to do another one before like the holidays because that's when like red lips are really in. So that'll be coming. Uh, da, 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 ba, ba. All right, for glosses, to be honest, I don't think I'm going to get rid of any of these. Well, maybe this pink one. I don't wear this pink one. This pink gloss from Pixie, I don't use it. So that can go. Um... I've got a butter gloss. I do use this. I hate that the packaging got messed up like that. I might ask Alvin to help me take that off, but I do like this. Um, I've got two. See, I don't need two of these. The Alyssa Ashley and Elf glosses. Let me just declutter one. Um, I got the only ColourPop products that I will keep are these glosses from the Sailor Moon collection. Um, I've got an AOA Studio O oh Honey lip gloss. I've got this Dior lip gloss. I got the Elf and Chipotle lip gloss, which was really cute. <laughs> so we'll keep those. And then I got these two newer ones from AOA Studio, the glazed lip glosses. One has glitter and one's just a clear gloss. It's basic, but it's good to have. And then I'll keep the butter gloss right there.
<sighs> okay, so to declutter what's in here. I think I really just watch these because I've got some, a lot of purpley shades. I gotta admit, I don't think I've ever worn, at least in the last six months, a purple lipstick. So, so I think those are probably dull. All right, I think these, I'm gonna pull all these out. Let's pull these out and we'll come bring them back in again. All right, the Sophia Nygaard Bury Me in Lipsticks, I am of course going to keep, I love that. I have this little baby melt lipstick and it is really pretty. So I'm gonna keep that one. Then what are you, oh, this is Griselda from Fenty. I love this shade. This is so pretty. It's like a deep plum. I love it. This Rare Beauty, I am going to keep and start swatching. Yeah, it's a really deep, actually. Yeah, that's different. I think it's deeper than the Melt, too. Yeah, they're different enough. Okay, and I do love mini lip products. Those are my favorite. So if I can get a mini, I'll get a mini. This is from Wander Beauty, and this is a really cute like lipstick slash lip liner set. And that's just a really pretty color. Okay, this AOA Studio. Yeah, can I open it? Yes, I can. Hmm. It's pretty. All right, let's keep swatching. This one is from, what are you from? Gerard Cosmetics. Don't think I can remember the last time I actually wore this one. Oh, would you look at that? These look so similar. So the Rare Beauty in this one. Let's declutter the Gerard. This Melt one, I really like this. This is in the shade Golden. It's such a unique like lipstick shade. I love that, so we're gonna keep that one. Do I need to keep this AOA Studio? I don't think so. So that's gonna go. All right, I adore these two Fenty shades, even though I don't really wear them as much anymore. I wanna keep them. This is a hot Barbie pink. This one is a beautiful coral. All right, we got a velvet lip from AOA. Let's see, what shade are you? Yeah. Nothing spectacular, so I'll declutter this one. We also, I think this is the bright orange lipstick from AOA. Yeah, that's pretty. Oh, I wanna keep that one. That one's unique. Okay, we have a pixie. This isn't exactly like a dark red. This is more of like a uh, deep berry. I don't know. I'm not really gonna reach for that, am I? No. I'm gonna declutter this pixie one. All right. These are the two Sailor Moon lipsticks from the Sailor Moon and ColourPop collection. I'm probably just gonna keep it based on that. Ooh. Ooh, that looks weird now. I wonder if that got funky. It doesn't smell off or anything, but that doesn't look as pigmented as it did. Huh. What about this one? That one looks fine. I don't know what, what happened to that first one. Okay, I'll declutter that first one. And I'll just keep that one. Alright, the Suva Beauty. I think I got this in a Tribe Beauty box. Yeah, what am I going to wear a... a purple lipstick. Let me bring down, so these are the purple lipstick, like straight up purple purple lipsticks that I have. I don't think I'm gonna wear that Suva one. Let's try this AOA Studio one. Okay, that one's pretty. I like how that shade looks, so let's keep that one. Stop. Thank you. Let's see, this is a velvet lip. Ooh, that's like a, that's pretty. It's like a fuchsia kind of shade. Then, this one. I don't know if I'll wear this dark plum because it also, it could, yeah, I don't know if I'll wear that. It's dark and it kind of looks like Griselda. Yeah, I'm gonna declutter this dark brown one, the Suva one, and we'll just keep this light lil lilac and then this kind of fuchsia shade from Chavez And if I organize them like that, I've got room for the lip liners right there on the side. Perfect.
Okay, so we decluttered a lot more lipsticks than honestly I thought we would. I thought my collection was fairly curated for me anyway. Um, but yeah, I'm happy with this. I like that I have a little bit more room here. I like that I have room for the lip liners and I just like how this is organized still. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down below how you're liking all these declutter videos and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs> this looks so artistic, doesn't it? I, I sometimes just love a good like swatch hand.